This is such an important concept. I don't think it's taught well enough, including myself. But if you're doing a t-test or an ANOVA or something, and you have two means from two different groups that are overlapping each other, you cannot reject the null, and here's why. Okay, let's say we have the first group mean, and it, the competence interval is between 1.2 and 4.5. We have a second mean, and its competence interval is between 0.6 and 3.8. You'll see that there's there, there are numbers on this number line that both of these competence intervals share. Example, what if the true mean was 3? Okay. Both of these competence intervals, that could be a possibility. 3 is between these two values, and it's between these two values as well. And that's what the null states, is that the mean from the first group is going to equal the mean from the second group. This supports the null, so you cannot reject it. So this is important. A lot of statistics is built on this, whether you reject the null or not. This is kind of what's going on. Hope this helps. MGZ, out.